Hey guys, it's Andy. Um, I wanted to show you a, a quick way to increase the relevancy of your website. Um, and this is something that anybody can do. It's, it's really simple and, and it, it will uh, in, increase the rankings for, for some of your pages. One of the things that, that people don't understand about Google that, that's really important is that relevancy to a topic is, is very important. So for example, if you're trying to rank for divorce or car accident or personal injury or whatever it is, you need to have other pages on your website that link to the page that you're trying to rank. So, um, and we call these, uh, for our agency, we call these supporting pages. So for example, if we have a client that wants to rank for divorce, we'll create five pages, um, that are supporting content to divorce. So basically just random topics about divorce. So maybe like divorce lawyer fees and, uh, how long does a divorce take and different things like that. And then we link them all to the divorce page. But, if you have a lot of content on your website, you can kind of do this already. And one of the best ways to do this is figure out which pages Google already thinks are about a certain topic on your website. So I want to show you exactly how I do this and how you figure out uh, which pages to link to. It's really easy. So this is a website, Cordell. Cordell, I don't know who this is. Um, just a random uh, website that I found. So what you can do is you should take your URL. So whatever your website is, uh, copy it, type site, and then colon and then uh, in this case I'm doing Cordell Cordell.com now what this is going to bring up is a site search um, this shows everything that Google has in their index about your website um, so you can see uh, 1960 so they have 1960 pages indexed for Cordell Cordell that's a pretty big website your website probably does not have that many um, most attorney websites that we see have anywhere from like 17 to, you know, maybe 250 sites or 250 pages. So what you can do though is you can see what Google thinks is the most important, uh, pages on your website for specific topics. So for example, let's say divorce. Uh, and what you do is you just do the site and then you do the keyword. So divorce, now we've got divorce practice areas. Now, let's say child custody. Now you can see here's their child custody page. Now, what is interesting about this though is that it shows in order uh, the, the, the pages that it thinks are relevant. So basically what it's saying is that for child custody, it thinks that this is the most relevant child custody page they have, and it is because it's their practice area page, child custody. And then it's got this page, and then uh, so this is gonna be uh, Cordell, Cordell Resources, Florida, Florida Child Custody Questions, and then the next one is going to be uh, Tampa Father's Rights, and the next one's going to be Child Support, um, Georgia Child Custody Questions. So what you can do is you can look at this page, and if you want to rank for child custody, write down the URLs of the following five pages. So it would be this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, let me say that's four, and then this one. Now, if you want to increase the relevancy of this page, all you have to do is put a backlink on this page, this page, this page, this page, and this page to the child custody page. Now it looks like this one already has one. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, don't, I don't have my, my tool here, but but that's basically all you do. Same thing for divorce. If you want to do divorce, just go, you know, look for your divorce page. This is your most relevant divorce page. And then these five pages, one, two, three, four, five, just link those to your divorce page. And and that's kind of uh, one of the best ways to increase relevancy of a single page. Hope that helps. Uh, it's a really quick tip. If you have any questions, comment in the uh, section below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.